Good evening, everyone. We did it. We filled up a one briefcase break of 2017 Panini Flawless Baseball Picker Team number one, an old 2017 edition. Very big thank you to, and from a fresh case as well, big thanks to all of these people for getting in on the 21st. Good late night rally too, boys and girls. The night before a new release night, we got this done. Appreciate it. Thanks for digging deep. Big thanks to everybody here. Thanks to Ryan for Double Last Spot Mojo. Thanks to everybody for that late night rally. Really appreciate it. There it is, 2017 Flawless. Man, they're in the black briefcases that year. All right, so we'll roll the die. One, two, three for the top box, four, five, six for the bottom box. And it's going to be two. So this is the one we're going to do now, check mark. And this is for pick your team number two. I have financial interest in the Braves. They were up 3-1 going to the bottom of the ninth. Giants added a run, 3-2. Throw it! Everybody still safe? Come on! Now runners are on first and third with only two outs in the bottom of the ninth. That's true. I guess Donald's, that could have just slipped right through the infield, too. If the Braves blow this game, the, the, cries, for, the cries for Craig Kimbrell will grow even stronger, I think. But they got to wait until after a certain period of time so they have to give up draft compensation. I remember we're going strictly by the, uh, the checklist, by the way. I think I saw a college player on the bottom of of the, uh, whatchamacallit, bottom of the stack there. So for those of you watching live, let's drop the group break checklist.com checklist for 2017 Flawless Baseball in the chat. All right, so the triple relic on top, Ricky Henderson, Jimmy Fox, Reggie Jackson. Four out of 10 legendary trios. And these are all A's. Oakland A's. Jimmy Fox was a Philadelphia athletic. And Reggie Jackson is an athletic, of course. Uh, Michael A with the A's. Arson with that one. Triple Relic. Four out of seven. Harmon Killebrew. Nice one for the Twins. Jason Waters with the Twins. Nice. Game used material in that triple relic. Nice. That's pretty cool. And there is Jim Rice. Two out of 20. Nice Rice for the Boston Red Sox. And that'll be for Sherry and the Red Sox. Nice. Another greats autograph coming up. Two out of ten. And that's that's the crime dog. Fred McGriff. Two out of ten. Braves edition of Fred McGriff. Who's got the Bravos? 
Gary Gordon with the Braves. I feel like you don't see a lot of Fred McGriff autographs. Is Fred McGriff a Hall of Famer? He's 55 now. Mm -hmm. Career 284, 2,490 hits, 493 runs batted in, or 493 home runs, 1,500 runs batted in. He's not a Hall of Famer? That's close. <laughs> I don't know if... Oh, he was off the Hall of Fame this year after not receiving 75% of the votes required to make it in for his 10 years of eligibility. All right, so he just missed. Ooh, that's brutal. He's close. He's border. He's very borderline. If he maybe had like a 300 average, maybe if he had 3,000 hits, had some of those key numbers, had 500 home runs, come on. He'll get in, right? Players committee or something like that? Veterans committee will put him in years later. 3 out of 25, Gary Carter, Montreal, cut auto. Nice. That'll be for the... Uh, the Expos go to the Nationals, of course. That'll be for Eric I with the Nats. We've got Collegiate National Team. I'm pretty sure this is person is going to be for this particular team. Team USA, Collegiate National Team. It's Nomar Garcia Para. Nice. 8 out of 15. Look how young he looks there. That goes to the Red Sox. Sherry with the Red Sox. And that is uh, for the Red Sox. Um, he uh, does analysis, analyst work for the Dodgers TV network. Pre-game, post-game, sometimes on-field stuff, sometimes in the booth. He's okay in the booth. A lot better as an analyst, though, I think. And we've got a dual autograph. Wow, 2 out of 10. We've got Don Mattingling and Willie McGee. Nice. Willie McGee is a Cardinal, if you remember him. Oh, that ties it. That's a walk-off. <sighs> Two out of ten, randomizer between the Yankees, Cody Passmore, and the Cardinals, Eric I. Wow, and look at this. Luke Weaver, one out of five. In his Florida State gear. Dual diamond. And Luke Weaver is Cardinals edition of Luke Weaver. Nice. And he's pitching pretty well now these days, too. And that's from Flawless Collegiate, by the way. So a supplied card. Cardinals. Eric I. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Braves need to get Craig Kimbrell. On the left side right here, we've got Tim Tebow. Two out of five. Debut signatures. Nice. For the, well, Mets, right? Yeah. Who's got the Mets in this one? Jimmy Brandt with the Mets. Is he get, does he get called up this year? Like, let's say the Mets season goes just really goes south. September call up, give him some games, put butts in seats. Jimmy Brandt all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! You guys would be surprised at how well Tim Tebow still sells on a secondary market. All right. On this side right here, we've got... Wow, four out of five triple diamond. 
Mike Trout. That's arson with the Angels. And you know what? That's uh, red, white, and blue right there. I know it's kind of hard to see with the glare of our photo studio lights, but that's red, white, and blue. Triple gem, Mike Trout. Ruby, diamond, sapphire. Wow. That's a nice one. That is very nice. Arson, trying to make up for that dual NT break that he didn't do well on. This is going to help. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. That'll help. And last one here is a Roger Maris Sapphire. One out of ten. Nice. So that will go to the Yankees, of course. Cody Passmore with that. And there you go. These are guaranteed gems, not lab-grown. There you go, boys and girls. Second half of the case is in the store right now. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Check it out. Get your teams, and we'll see you next time. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.